boop, boop, boop. I'm out of phone. You what are you the crazy? Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Hello? No, it was a text. Oh. Uh, it was yeah, a voice text. You really got to get better at being a phone. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Wow. That send button. It's going to be some bruising. <laughs> that send button. Hey, how are your fingers? Because I know that must have hurt hitting my massive yeah. steel chest. No, you got to re re reinforce. I mean, I could go right into you. I could go right into your brain with this. <laughs> like that. Just like Bruce Lee, man. Like that girl from the uh, self-defense video. Enter the dragon. Do you know that that's, you actually do that. You go right into the eyeballs. That's why they call <laughs> it enter the dragon, because your hand enters the dragon <laughs> and kills him. Inches his brain. You can't really kill somebody, but you can come up with. An have you eyeball. seen Have you seen the movie? Oh yeah. His hand enters the dragon. There is no dragon. Right in the eyeball. Dragon is a is a allegory. Well, then explain the dragon. <sighs> he gets his the hand goes. Have you into seen the movie? Eye. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. More museums. Enter the dragon doesn't have a dragon. Mm -mm. No dragon, man. He is the dragon. Have you seen the movie? Yes. You have offended my family. I remember going every Sunday, I would go to Nanny's house after the divorce and I would watch movie Sunday afternoon with Papa. You remember the Sunday afternoon movies? It would be some crappy movie, mm -hmm. like a Western. Yeah. And then as a kid, you'd have to watch this stuff because there were no other choices. And then they would cut to commercials and it would be aluminum siding commercials. Yeah, I, I distinctly those. remember Lots that. Of different siding. Lots of yeah. aluminum siding commercials. You can't get away from siding back on old school North Carolina TV. Right. If you didn't have siding on your house, well, you were a fool. And that's what I was, that's the point I was making. <laughs> that's really the thought entered my mind, and there does, you have it. Does this lead to the siding museum? I'm it, sure there is a siding museum. As I said, if you anybody who has a hobby and some space to rent can make a museum. I wouldn't be too into the siding museum. New Delhi, India. There is a museum of toilets. And there's a, there's a riveting YouTube video of it. Uh, which which you can just search and find it yourself because it's not even worth me playing it. It's, there's, there's just <laughs> do it yourself. Um, the sprawling Sulab International Museum of Toilets in New Delhi was founded by Dr. Pathak in 1970. It's now the largest non-governmental organization in India with over 50,000 volunteers. <laughs> the, 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 you can't make this stuff the up. The toilet museum? No, it, the toilet it, museum is not doesn't have fifty thousand volunteers. The the organization. Yeah, it does. It says it right here in my notes. The organization that runs the museum. That has runs 50, the museum. Fifty thousand volunteers. Yeah. It works to promote environmental sanitation and waste management. A highlight of the museum is the replica. There's lots of just every type of museum, every type of toilet you can think of is in this museum. Highlight is the replica of the throne of King Louis the Fourteenth. The king is believed to have used this to, well, he's done number two while conducting court sessions from this this uh, throne. You really think he did that? He, or you think he took a break? Or he was like, listen, judging is important, but so is relieving myself. So I'm, they have a replica of it right there. I think that's a hearsay. I don't believe it either. I don't, you know, I feel like I've been toileted out. You yeah. Know, we talk about toilets all the time. Um, we went to the toilet restaurant. I don't well, need to go to this place. What about this? The Dog Collar Museum. It's in Leeds Castle in Kent, Great Britain. It, and I think what they mean is like a room in the, in the castle that has like four or five glass boxes filled with uh, an assortment of dog collars. You got shot collars or just regular dog collars? Right, like regular medieval time collars. What, how, what is that? What does it do with shot collars these days? What did what do the dog lovers think about those? You, bad idea. You, we don't do those anymore. I'm sure people do them. She's sure that people do them. Is that uh, is it now? Is it not PC to do shot collars now, in the dog world? There's different ones to have them stop barking, like they emit certain smells into their nose so they stop barking. 
You can you got s- smell collars? Yeah. I want one of those. What is the smell? I can't remember what it is. It smells like flowery and gross. We should get one of those. We should do an episode of uh, testing out dog collars on you. Yeah. <laughs> didn't Shock we, collars, didn't we smell do, collars. Did, haven't we done that? We've never, we thought about it, but we never shocked ourselves with a collar. And I never will. According to Mr. Safety I saw on his channel, he's got, he's doing a dog, a, a shot collar series. Now? Right now. Oh, that's, oh, for real? The, shock, the shocking series, yeah. Well, there you go. Oh, he's doing it on Nacho Punch? Citronella, different thing. Citronella? Yeah. That makes the mosquitoes go away. So, Mr. Safety and Nacho Punch are both doing dog collar shocking videos. Mr. Safety's are, I saw them. I saw the thumbnails. They're out. Yeah, I know that they are videos. I did not click through. I figured what happened was is that he got shocked on the collar. Do you have any honorable mentions? Anything that you were like, oh, I'll mention it. I, honorably. I, I thought of, of all the honorable mentions, the one that I would like to go to is the House on the Rock in Dodgeville, Wisconsin. Um, this is just a crazy dude uh, back in the 40s. He built, I guess, a home. No, a weekend retreat on this rock of sandstone called Deer Shelter Rock. And then it just kind of became this place that everybody wanted to come to, and he kept adding on to it. He's got like a over 200 foot bridge that goes out into the the canopy oh, that wow. he calls like the the infinity room he's got he's built a town called the streets of yesterday modeled after towns of the early 1900s he he was basically a hoarder he's got all this stuff guns knives toys doll doll houses coin operated music machines organs old cars a bunch of santa claus stuff i mean it's just an odd place uh, that i would like to visit I don't think I would make Whoa. a specific trip to Dodgeville, Wisconsin to do it. But. The House on the Rock Senior Tour and Stay Spring Special Package for $140. That's cheap. On a Sunday through Thursday night stay. You can stay there? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Five nights, $140. Oh, five nights or one night? For $139 on a Sunday through Thursday night stay. I think you get one of those nights, man. You don't get a, still, a week a, for 130. Still, that's bucks. a deal. Yeah, they also have this urinal that kind of faces the two guys would have to face each other in order to use it. Do you see that? It's sort of an awkward position to be in. I mean, I don't like using the trough at like a sports event, you know, much less facing somebody else while I'm peeing. Here we are back at toilets again. Yeah, you know, full circle. Uh, I can't help myself. I'm really interested in this place. Oh, and the Burt Reynolds and Friends Museum. To wrap, to wrap things up, this is this place. I will take a trip to Jupiter, Florida, for this because I'm a big fan of uh, Smoking and the Bandit and all things that Burt Reynolds has been involved in. I especially like the way Burt Reynolds has aged and his. Uh, at one point, I don't know exactly what he looks like now, but at one point he had a very black mustache and eyebrows and completely white hair. But he's not there. You know that, right? And you also know that it's also not there. It's currently closed. It's been torn down to accommodate the building of a hotel. But what? They, they hope to reopen it soon. So it's not. It's okay. not I'm never coming to Jupiter, Florida. <laughs> not, what, what are it's you? Not even a town option. named after a planet? 